This right here is my ultimate FX3 gimbal rig. In this video, I'm gonna cover all the parts and accessories you need so you can make a rig just like this to use with your gimbal. I'm gonna cover the pros and cons of making a rig like this versus just using a one-handed gimbal. And then I'm gonna cover exactly why I decided personally to make a rig like this in the first place. All right, let me flip this rig over so you can kind of see on this end all the parts and accessories that I'm using to make this rig so functional because that is the key component of why I decided to build this. I need it to be very functional. So the brainchild, as you can see, I have a ring accessory. This is the Tilta Advanced Ring. It's carbon fiber. It's extremely lightweight and it's designed very, very well to fit the needs of someone who kind of wants to create a DJI Ronin M or a Movi Cam aesthetic because those are so functional and they're used in bigger productions for a reason they're able to rig up and add more accessories than a one-handed gimbal obviously they're more stable and they allow you to use the easy rig so that is the one-handed gimbal that i'm actually using for this rig it's a dji rs3 pro you can also use the dji rs2 and you can also just use a regular dji rs3 so for the monitor i'm using the atomo shinobi seven inch there's two reasons why i decided to go with this monitor over a smaller five inch monitor one i'm using a lot of anamorphics lately i just bought this theory kit it's almost impossible to nail focus with a five inch monitor so having a seven inch monitor just allows me to nail focus a lot better if i'm using manual lenses and two it has two thousand nits so it's a very bright monitor so if I'm filming in golden hour if I'm filming outside and it's very bright I can still see my image really well and very clear and again it helps with hitting your focus as you can see I have the DJI Ronin battery uh, handle which is connected up here and this is not actually powering anything so let's talk about what's powering this entire rig if my DJI Ronin handle isn't what's giving power to this entire rig and that is the Anton Bauer Titan 150 watt v-mount battery now you're going to ask yourself do you even need a battery of that much power and capacity to run something of this size and you actually don't however it's not about the power it's more so the weight and the form of this battery there's a reason i didn't uh, rig it right under my monitor and that is because i need to have balance when i'm using my easy rig if i were to place it right here a lot of the weight would just shift to one side and now i'm not going to have stable shots when i'm using the easy rig so this kind of just counterbalances the weight of the Atomo shinobi seven inch and powers the entire rig for multiple hours i'm not really sure exactly how long because i haven't had it die yet it just lasts for a really long time you don't have to worry about constantly changing dji ronin batteries you don't need to think about how you're powering the monitor and if i wanted to i could just put a dummy battery in the fx3 and power it as well using the anton bauer battery so this gives me a lot of flexibility when i'm moving really quickly we're running gun shoots now for the camera you obviously don't need a sony fx3 this is going to work with any millerist camera it also works with the fx6 that i'm shooting with right now however the reason i bought the fx3 so i could primarily use it as a b cam mainly on gimbals and as you can see i have a 7200 balanced on it as well so the dji rs3 pro if you want to go for it the main reason would be so you could have more clearance on the gimbal so you could rig up bigger and heavier lenses now that we kind of covered everything the main key component that i think makes this work so well in my opinion um is this eye footage spider crab arm this spider crab arm is amazing it's the best monitor arm that i ever used i'll show you real quickly how easy it is for me to remove the monitor in and out with this quick release system that um, eye footage has developed i have it actually rigged upside down so this allows me to, to put the monitor exactly where i want it just a little bit higher of the fx3 and it's going to be eye level when i'm filming and holding this rig and then all i gotta do is just flip the monitor's um, image upside down in the atomo shinobi so that works really really well another great aspect of the tilta advanced ring is not just about the functionality that you can add more rigs and parts to your gimbal than you could with a one-handed gimbal it's also the fact that you have these two handles right here on the side since you're using two hands you can't really take one hand off to move the gimbal one way or another so since this has this wireless connection with bluetooth and i can also control up and down 
uh, the gimbal adjustments. Fortunately, my batteries died and I have to order new ones, so I can't actually show that functionality, but I promise you it works really, really flawlessly. There's two accessories you're absolutely gonna need to be able to make this um, advanced ring work. And honestly, you can't even make it work without those accessories. So they're pretty much essential and you do have to buy them separately. So it drives up the cost a little bit, but again, you can make it work without them. The first one you're gonna need is the Tilta V-mount battery plate for the advanced ring and that's literally what it is it just allows you to attach a v-mount battery onto the ring so you can power the entire ring the monitor and everything else the second accessory you're going to absolutely need is the tilta power supply module for the ring grip right in the back of the power module there's a usb a port and there's also a dtap port so now this rig is even cleaner because i don't have to run the dtap cable to dc to power my monitor all the way down here to connect to the battery i can just attach it right here to the power supply module and now I have no cable just running loosely. It does have a couple quarter inch threads that you can mount and attach things to it, which I am using right now with the spider arm so I can flip upside down my monitor. You can just attach a monitor directly on it. However, now the monitor is gonna be a little bit too high above eye level and you're not gonna be able to kind of really compose your image exactly how you would want. I have two cables, one I have the HDMI to, from the monitor to the FX3, simple. And since this is an Atomos monitor, I have the little Atomos uh, battery replacement that has the DC input. So that allows me to just use one cable to power the monitor and voila. So let's talk about why I decided to use the Tilta Advanced Ring to make this rig in the first place. Why am I not just using my DJI RS3 Pro with one hand if I could just easily do that, right? Besides the fact that yes, I can add other accessories, I have longer battery life because I'm using a big battery. It's the fact that I wanna be able to use my Easy Rig Mini Max. I own an Easy Rig Mini Max, so I'm, it's not like I have to constantly run it out or I don't have it assess, accessible to me at all times. Since I do have it accessible to me at all times, I'd rather use it than not use it. Easy Rig Mini Max just takes all the weight off your hands and shoulders. If you try to use this for more than like, I don't know, 10 minutes at a time, you're immediately gonna to start get, to get exhausted. You're gonna to start to feel fatigued. And when that starts to happen, you're gonna be less thinking about the creative shot, how you compose, what the angle is gonna be, and you're not gonna be able to shoot as long as you might need to for certain shots. Another reason I decided to build this rig in the first place was that about a month ago, I was hired to DP a fashion show. It's a low budget fashion show, so nothing too crazy. However, I wanna get creative. I wanna make it look as great as I can with the resources that I have. So I knew I wanted to use a 7200 because when the models were coming down the runway, I would be able to compress that background really, really well and separate them and really just have the emphasis on them when they're coming down the runway. So I needed a 7200. I was gonna be filming about 25 minutes at a time for each uh, fashion designer line that the models were uh, modeling on the runway. So for me to have one handed gimbal 25 minutes at a time, I was gonna get exhausted. Easy Ray came in, I built this ring and it worked flawlessly. And ever since then, I'm just convinced that this is the best way for me to use my DJI RS3 Pro. Let's talk about the pros and cons of using a rig like this with your gimbal versus just using a one handed gimbal. First pro, I already mentioned it. I can attach my Easy Rig Mini Max to this and shoot for longer periods of time not get fatigued as fast and be able to think more creatively. Second pro, I already touched on it obviously, is the fact that I can add more attachments and accessories. If you're using a one-handed gimbal, you're not gonna be easily able to rig a seven inch monitor so you can see a shot really, really well. You're not gonna be able to get longer periods of battery time if you're not using a bag battery like this and you're just relying on the DJI Ronin 3 handle battery. And then third, it's just more comfortable. At the end of the day, you using two hands to hold a rig like this versus just using one-handed gimbals like the DJI RS3 Pro, you're gonna put too much weight onto the middle of your back and your arms and you're just gonna get exhausted. That's what it comes down to. This is what the functionality is about. It's to be able to shoot more, think more, and not feel tired. One of the cons is obviously this is a much bigger rig. So for certain shots, maybe for like underslung mode, you obviously can't really do it with a rig like this. It's easier to just take off the ring, put back the battery handle on it, and while out your back in underslung mode if that's what you wanna shoot. I don't really do that many shots like that, but if I do, I have the functionality. I can just easily detach it and boom, I'm ready to go once again as a one-handed gimbal. The second con, I'm gonna be completely honest, I can't think of another one. When it all comes down, I have more battery life, I have a more comfortable rig, and I have more attachment accessories than I can with a one-handed gimbal. So to me, it's just more functional, I can shoot longer. So this ring grip by Tilta works really nicely. There's other ones, I think by Digital Photo and Small Rig, I haven't tried them. They don't look as great as this one because it doesn't match the RS3 Pro. 
aesthetics aside, I don't think they're built as well as this one and have all the different module and attachments that you can do. You're gonna have to start jerry-rigging things or gaff taping or using clamps and a bunch of cables. I have one cable, two if you count the HDMI cable, that's it. This is my Sony FX3 Ultimate gimbal rig. Obviously you don't need to use a Sony FX3. You can use smaller mirrorless cameras or even medium sized cinema cameras. I've already put my Sony FX6 on this. It works just fine. You can balance bigger, longer lenses if you're using the DJI RS3 Pro since it has more clearance. And again, it just allows you to think more creatively, be on the fly, not have to worry about constantly changing batteries and be able to power everything really nicely. And obviously, you know, the DJI RS3 Pro has that nice little feature where it just auto locks. Hope this video helped. All the parts and accessories will be linked in the description box below so you can build this rig exactly how I have it. And hopefully it works for you. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.